Like most adventure riders, I came into riding later in life. And with that, I brought with me a resume of injuries from other sporting activities and misadventures of youth. Fortunately, I've never really injured myself significantly riding a motorcycle. However, I have broken bones in other sports and I've had rotator cuff surgery to both shoulders. One thing for certain, they don't move as freely as they used to. <laughs> so for me, having a small vertical riser really takes a lot of strain off of my shoulders. To be able to reach forward and, and grab those handlebars without that pinching feeling in my shoulders allows me to ride much more freely. Another thing the small bar riser does is by lifting them up a little bit, as I ride standing, I don't have to bend my knees as much, which takes a lot of repetitive movements off my achy knees. Less pain means more focus on the ride, and that is a good thing. I personally don't like the handlebar risers that come back towards the rider. However, if somebody's doing a lot of on-road touring and they also have shoulder impingement issues, I could see where that slight back bend could take a lot of strain off those long kilometer days. You will often hear people say, don't use bar risers because it changes the geometry of the bike. And it's true. Things will be altered a little bit, especially if you have those swept back handlebar risers. But if it allows you to ride more comfortably and enjoy your sport, go for it. One thing for sure, adventure in dual sport riding is all about compromise. There is no one perfect bike that does it all or tire brand that magically guarantees traction. It's all about exploring and finding solutions to challenges we come across, whether it's riding a technical section out on our trail or preparing your bike for the next trip. Adapting your bike setup so that you can ride it the best of your ability can take some doing, but is well worth the effort. Share with us what you have found works best for you and your bike.